Hey everybody! Okay, I'm back. Um, today I want to talk about uh, my hair, my new projector style I have right now. And this is basically um, two strange twists with rods on the ends. And I got the idea from Beautiful Brown Baby Doll. I, I don't know if you want to call them kinky twists or not. I don't know. Um, the twists with curls on the end. Whatever. <laughs> so, I'm going to go ahead and show you the hair I use. And the hair I used was Bobby Boss Afro Kinky Bulk Hair. And I used two packs of these. And the colors I used was the number two. And I noticed the lighter you go, the easier it is or the softer the hair is. The softer the hair is. Because this is a 1B. And I, didn't, I thought I needed three packs, but I didn't. This is two packs of hair. And... This hair, this part, this number one, is really, it's soft, but it's like more matted together. I don't know. But the lighter one, the number two, was a lot softer and a lot more easier to work with, I would assume. I haven't tried the 1B yet, but just touching the end of it, it didn't feel like the number two here. And it comes two to a pack, two big bundles in a pack. They come in here and each bundle, like each little bundle has these little individual rubber band, gold band thingies in it. And this is how much hair is, is in it. And it has like a little rubber band that separates the hair so it keeps it from getting matted. And what I did was, this is really long, right? I just cut it in half, broke it up in maybe threes or fours because I wanted it really thin. I just wanted more so the ends to be curled because a lot of this hair is my length. Like my hair is right here. Sorry, right here. And I just, you know, half of it and curl the ends. And I actually really like this hair a lot. I will be, yeah, see, here's one of it. This is, has this been cut in half yet? Yeah, this has already been cut in half. And this is how I would do it. I would just take it, braid it to the end a little bit, and then start twisting it. I twist it all the way to the end. And then I would take a rod. And I use the pink rod. Same method beautiful bomb baby doll. I'm sure I'll try to put a link. I don't know how to do that, you guys. I just used the three packs of the yellow. Yellow. I used I don't know how many packs. I bought eight packs, but I used the pink rods, which were really thin, and then I wrapped them all the way on the ends on individual on each individual braid and dipped them in hot water. And okay, so I actually got a lot of confidence on this hair. A lot of people thought it was my hair. And they would say, oh my gosh, it's so cute. But for me, I kind of don't, I don't like it. Maybe because the foundation isn't as good. Because I don't know how to cornrow without it being loose. It wasn't tight. So then, I've only had this in like maybe a week, and two weeks. I had this in two weeks. And it was loose. And I feel like my stray hairs and my natural hair are slipping out and wrapping around with the um the extension with the weave hair and I don't like it. I don't want my hair to be get matted. It's already shedding excessively and I don't want to lose more hair than I have to. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and take this out and do another protective style. Because my hairline is already starting to run its course, you know, from the shedding from the post baby. And of course it'll grow back with with patience and Jamaican black castor oil. <laughs> And, yeah. But the hair itself, I would buy this hair again. It was $7.99 a pack at my local beauty supply store. And I like it. I will use this hair. I didn't really see that many reviews about it. And I don't think there's any more I can say about it. If you're going to get the hair, get a 2 or up. Because the hair is more pliable to work with. Don't get a 1 or a 1B. It's going to be... You can still work with it. But you might lose hair in the process because the... It's, I don't know the dark, the, it, the fact that they put a darker rinse on it made a difference, but I'm not too thrilled to get ready to use the 1B. I'll probably use 4s and number 2s for this particular hair. And, yeah. I didn't have any problem with it curling. It's, as you can see, it's still curly. And I braided it all the way around. And it's really light and airy. It's not weighed down. And I haven't washed it yet. 
But I'm actually looking forward to washing it because I like yarn braids, you know, because the fabric, you'll weigh your hair down on the ends. You have to bring it out like you would do a towel or a pair of jeans. But I don't know. I think because this hair is so light, I use the bare minimum hair. I mean, I'll split this in half to two pieces. I'm not going to split it right now. Into two pieces. And that's how much hair I'll use. This piece I'll use for one, and then this piece I'll use for one. So see how thin that hair is? And I just use it basically for the length, not to weigh it down. And I spray leave-in conditioner, water leave-in conditioner on my scalp, you know, to replenish it. And a little oil, Lisa Terry elixir or coconut oil on my scalp to keep it oiled. And, but yeah, because the foundation isn't perfect as far as with the braids, I'm going to go ahead and take it out. And maybe with more practice, I can get it to stick better, you know, get the foundation a little bit tighter, a little bit more secure so that my real hair isn't slipping out as much and binding around the, the extension. So that's basically it, you guys. Um, uh, yeah. Good protective hairstyle if you know what you're doing. <laughs> because it took me forever to get that hair around, to braid that hair. Every time I would try to braid it, it would just slide out. And I'm not the best braider in the world, so it would probably take my practice. But if you know how to braid, the Bobby Bob Afro Kinky hair is really good. Seven and nine a pack. You only need two packs for full head. Okay. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good day. Bye.